Hi, my name is Clemo. I'm working in the blockchain team here at Zaba. And today I would like to show you how to write FHEVM confidential smart contract. We've implemented a set of pre-compiled contracts that allows you to have those encrypted units as a new data type in Solidity. With these types, you can do encrypted arithmetic on chain. For example, if I have an RC20 contract and I want to protect the balances, I would replace the integer by encrypted integer and then for the transfer, I would have an encrypted amount, do a required check with this encrypted amount, an encrypted addition and subtraction. If I want to allow the specific users to view the balance, I can define all the access control logic of who can decrypt which value that's on the blockchain simply by writing Solidity code. In this case, we are re-encrypting the balance with a public key signed by the user using EIP-712 standard. I'm going to compile that. I'm just using the traditional Remix tools, nothing new here. And I'm going to deploy it to the Zama DevNet using MetaMask. I'm going to mint 1000 tokens. In Remix, we've integrated the automatic encryption of inputs. As I mint 1000 tokens and select EU in 32, the value is automatically encrypted with the blockchain public key and produce a zero knowledge proof that I know the value. This is important for security reasons to avoid people decrypting arbitrary values. So, the mint transaction is validated. I can securely access my encrypted balance. To achieve this, I generate a public key and sign it. This process allows users to maintain control over their confidential data. As you can see, I have 1000 tokens. Okay, so let's transfer 100 tokens to Bob. I'm pasting Bob's address and sending him 100 tokens. Again, I'm encrypting the value 100, generating a zero knowledge proof and confirming using my MetaMask. Okay, so transaction is validated. So now I can check that I have uh, 900 tokens. So now we'll switch to Bob's account to see that he receives uh, 100 tokens. If I switch to Bob's account, I'll generate a new public key and sign it. And now you can see the balance of Bob is now 100 tokens. If we look on chain as a transaction itself, we can see that this is a very normal EVM transaction. But this time, the actual data on chain is an encrypted blob of randomness. Even though I transfer the token to Bob, nobody can tell how many tokens I have in my balance and how many tokens were just transferred. This, of course, is not limited to tokens. Any kind of application can be built using these encrypted integers. Blind auction, mixnet, on-chain game where you have to keep secrets, decentralized identity, KYC check on chain. Everything is possible by just writing Solidity code. Thank you. My name is Clément. You can contact me on clement.zama.ai.